Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I have a very quick short guide of how to install Face Fusion directly on your Mac. So it's getting installed directly. It's not going to go through installing apps such as Pinocchio. If you guys want to see how to use Pinocchio to install these things, let me know. But this is not it. This is directly. So you don't need a third app. Now, if you are not familiar with Face Fusion, if you're familiar with Aroop Unleashed or something like that, or Instant ID, it's not like Instant ID, but it's different. So it's more like Roop. So you can take an image, all right, an original image, uh, a target, and then you can get the source image. And what it does, it, it supplants that source image onto the target image and has an output, okay? Now, it has a lot of these things as well on the site to explain to you. If you guys want to see an in-depth video on what all these settings mean and what do they do, let me know. But this is just going to be a simple installer. And for that, what I need you to do is go into docs.facefusion.io. Okay, I'll have the link in the description. Whatever I'm doing, it's all on there. So it'll bring you to this page. So it most likely would look something like this. What I want you to do is open the install installation. Look at the platform. Okay, so go into the installation and you first of all, you need to prepare your Mac OS. So you will need to install Brew first of all. So if you don't have Brew installed, please let me know and I can teach you guys how to have Brew installed. If you do, then all you do is first of all, you copy this Brew install git, okay? And after you've installed it, so what you ideally want to do is you want to go into terminal. So you want to go into your root directly so that's your root those are the things there so what you can do then is you can create so I've call, created a folder called Koya so K-O-H-Y-A so in that Koya I've got a, quite a few things I've got all my AI stuff such as stable diffusion I've got face fusion I've got Conda I mean mini Conda I've got Koya and I've also got comfy UI installed so if you don't know what those are don't worry about it I have a video on how to install stable diffusion and I'll be doing a video on how to install comfy UI I've also got a video on how to install swarm on Mac all of these are Mac ones if you guys want a vid uh, if you guys want a Windows one let me know there are ones out there really good ones but anyways what you need to do is so if you go into Koya so whatever folder you've got you go cd that folder you go into that folder and then you just copy that and what you do is come over here and paste it okay and press enter okay i'm not going to do that because i've already installed it so after you've installed this then you want to install mini conda and you just go brew install mini conda go back here again paste it brew install mini conda and press enter after installing that you need to install ffmpeg okay so copy paste it there and you should install then what i want you to do is go into the environment and you go into mac os so it brings you here so you need to copy first the conda initialize all then conda conda create name such and such python okay so this these two will install after installing those the reason i'm not doing this as we go because I had to troubleshoot a lot to get to this stage and also it would mean that if I had tried other things before this as well so if I had gotten it wrong uh, the video would have been a lot more lengthier than this so anyways I didn't know if I could install it or not so that's why I don't have it in there so anyways so copy first these two then copy that activate face fusion okay basically after you have installed all those and activated face fusion what you need to do is you need to be in that folder that you've created okay and forget about all these steps because you've just done these two steps 
for Mac, you don't have an accelerator. So what you need to do is now copy or, or install whatever is needed. So you just go copy and then you paste it in here and then you it clones the whole repository. So after the clone has been done and it's successful, go into CD face fusion. And when you're in the actual directory, you need to type python install dot py so copy that install it after it's done for every time after that you need to click python dot python run dot py okay now what i've done is just to make my life a little bit easier let me deactivate this so that's back to it's out of face fusion and then exit it okay and then we can close it all right so what i've done is just to make my life a little bit easier i've created a shortcut so if you want to see this shortcut let me know and what this does it it will run and if you guys are good at this this is the command i've used okay all of this all right so hopefully what this does is it, it takes opens terminal goes into koya whatever location you've got in face fusion then runs the command uh, and then runs the actual thing then waits 10 seconds and then opens the url so let's see if this works so all i do is just click that or if i copy it, this here i just have to click it once and it'll run the whole process the reason it takes a bit longer is because i've told it to wait 10 seconds for everything to run properly now I think I need to give it more than 10 seconds because it's not running yet. All right, so which one of this is correct? So this one is running base. So there you go. All right, so it's finally come up. You can close all these windows. So maybe I'll give this a 15 second wait time. Anyways, all right, so that's done. So let's refresh this and boom, you're in here. Now, just for really something simple, let's take Tom Cruise. Sorry, Tom Cruise, don't sue me. I'm just using your face, young. Okay, I'm just using Tom Cruise's face. Let's say, who's another movie star? John Travolta, okay. Okay. When he was younger, downloads, all right, close this. Don't need that anymore. Okay, get rid of Woody. Go in here, John Travolta. Sloading it and giving us a bit of a preview. Hopefully this will give us a bit of a better preview. Oh, that looks a bit better. All right, let's give it a start. So you can play around with it. Wow, that was quick. So there you go. So it kind of looks like Tom Cruise. Okay, so that's basically, that's how you guys do it. Okay, if you found this informative if, or if you get stuck with something, please do write in the comments below. I'll try and get to you guys. There's people in the community who are very active that might be able to answer you. I've got the steps here. You can, first time I did this was quite confusing as well, but once you get used to this, it's pretty easy how to install Phase Fusion. But yeah, for a bit of fun, it's a nice thing to have. And that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do like this. I do all of this out of my own accord. And it costs me a lot to manage all this. So let me know. Comment below. And also subscribe. Thanks so much.